In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. My brethren, today the church starts a new year. The first Sunday of Advent marks the beginning of a new year for the church, in which we are going to contemplate once again all the mysteries of our salvation. And we start, of course, with the birth of our Lord. Traditionally, every major feast day in the church is preceded by a day of preparation, what we call a vigil, which is normally a day of penance. But we have two major feast days which are preceded, not only by one day, but by weeks of preparation. And these feasts are Christmas and Easter. As Lent is a preparation for the great feast of the Resurrection, in the same way Advent is a preparation for the great feast of the Nativity of our Lord. This long preparation shows two things. First of all, the importance of these two feast days in the calendar of the Church. But also, it shows the necessity, the necessity we have to prepare ourselves well for these feasts. And the reason is that in the mind of the Church, more we prepare ourselves, more graces we can receive. So this time of Advent in which we enter today is a true gift of God to us. So we may prepare well in order to celebrate worthily the great feast of the Nativity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But it's not rare that we simply waste this time of preparation which is given us. So often we don't do anything. So I would like to give you today some tips so you, you may spend this time of Advent in the way you are supposed to. So first of all, we have to make resolutions. Very often we tell ourselves, Oh, I will think later about what I will do. I will think later about what I have to change. Tomorrow, I will think about that. And then, Christmas comes and we didn't prepare at all. We may have bought gifts. We may have sent cards. We may have pleased the man, but not God. So, my brethren, you better not get out of this church without thinking about what you have to work on this Advent. Maybe it can be your first resolution not to leave this church without thinking about what you have to do this Advent. Maybe it is your personal daily prayer that you are neglecting. Maybe it is the family prayer that you simply don't do. Maybe you should stop drinking for Advent. Why not? Or some other corporal penance. Stop saying bad words or spending hours on your telephone. 
Or maybe you, you can decide to come more often to church. So take time to think and to reflect and to take concrete resolutions. So the first thing is that we need to make resolutions. But the second thing we have to be aware of is that making resolutions is not enough. But we have to keep them. What's the point to have all these great resolutions if we don't keep them? That's why it is very important that our resolutions are something we can concretely do, even if it requires some effort. But it has to be something possible. It would not be realistic if someone who does not pray at all decides suddenly to recite ten rosaries a day. You understand that unless a miracle happens, this resolution will not be carried out. We have to challenge ourselves, yes, but at the same time we have to be realistic. Instead of starting with ten rosaries, perhaps we should humbly start with one and then move on and then continue. So we need concrete resolutions that we can keep. But there is something else to remember here, and this is the third point. It may happen that even if we have goodwill, we may fail in our resolutions. It can happen. Let us say I made the resolution to pray the rosary every day and suddenly one day I don't do it. Okay, that's not good. But at the same time, it's not the end of the world. We should not give up our resolutions only because we may have, we may have failed one, two or three times. We should keep trying. And that's how we get there. We should keep trying. If you fail your resolutions, don't give up. Just try again. So this ad event we have to remove from our lives everything that's bad. Everything that is superfluous. And we have to put things that are good, that are virtuous. And if we do so, if we prepare well, when Christmas comes, we will have many gifts to give to the Lord. We will have the incense of all the prayers we have said. We will have the more of all the penances we did. And we will have the gold of all the good works we performed out of love for Him. So my brethren, take advantage of this beautiful time of Advent. Make concrete resolutions and keep them. But don't forget that if you come to fail, don't give up. If you fall, just stand up and continue your path. Just persevere in your good works, and the Lord will be pleased with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Amen.